Hi everyone, this is Frank from YOLO Live. Today I'm going to show you how to control your YOLO box through your phone or iPad. This method works like a charm whether you're on an Apple or Android system. Before we dive in, here's what you need to know. Right now, only the YOLO Box Ultra supports remote control. Also, to use this feature, you'll need to sign up for YOLOcast in advance because we rely on YOLOcast to make it work. The sign-up process is super simple. You can head over to the YOLOcast login page using the link in my video description and then just click sign up here to register. Last but definitely not least, make sure your YOLO box and your phone or iPad are connected to the same network. Otherwise, remote control won't work. If you've already signed up and logged into YOLOcast, you'll land on this page. Then at the very bottom of the left-hand menu, you'll find Web Control. That's your gateway to remote control. Here, you'll need to enter the device's IP address. So how do you find it? Let's head over to the device. In the back end of your prepped live event, open Settings, scroll down to find Mobile Web Control, and tap on it. A new page will pop up. Scroll down, and you'll see the IP address of the network your device is currently connected to. Copy and paste this IP address into YOLOcast, then hit connect. And just like that, you're successfully connected to your device. Basically, remote control includes five core cool features. First up is real-time monitoring of the device's key parameters, like battery level, bit rate, CPU and memory usage, device temperature, frame drops, live stream duration, uptime, and network connection. Keeping an eye on these is crucial because it helps you spot issues early like overheating or network hiccups so you can keep your stream smooth and avoid any nasty surprises mid-broadcast. Next, you can seamlessly switch between video sources remotely. Here you'll see all the video sources connected to your YOLO box backend. Remote control of graphics is a must. In the overlay section, you'll see all the graphics added to your YOLO box backend. Same deal here, just tap on a graphic and it'll pop up in your live stream. On top of that, remote control also covers basic audio settings, scoreboard control, and the ability to start your live stream. Just a heads up though, the audio settings here only include toggling audio channels, AFV, volume, and audio delay. As for the scoreboard, only the presets provided on the YOLO box are supported, Custom scoreboards added via YOLOcast overlays won't work here. And that's your guide to using remote control and its features. Besides the web version, we also offer an app for remote control, which you can find and download on Google Play. However, the app is only available for Android, so for now, the web version remains the more widely accessible option. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactyololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 1332 If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 186 13305 813532. Thank you for watching this video.